Hello everyone and thank you for watching another video brought to you by International Key Supply. In this video I want to give you a first look at the X-Force Key Tool Plus. So this device just arrived to me so I'm going to open it up and show it to you guys and gals. Uh, you'll be seeing it for the first time along with me. So it comes in a very rugged case. Uh, obviously X-Horse has their name on the outside. They want to promote their brand which is good. Key Tool Plus. It's hard to get the entire case in the frame of my camera here, but it is a very large, durable case. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this case around and open it up. So inside the case you have a manual here, Key Tool Plus manual. Looks like so. Nice full color manual with some instructions. Detailing the features of the product. OBD MO programming, remote and transponder creation, EEPROM programmer, MO data tool, cutting keys function, so controlling the Dolphin key machine, and then your various settings. So you have the Key Tool Plus here, and it uh, is all wrapped in plastic, obviously. We're going to go ahead and take this plastic off. All right. So here's the front of the device. Uh, pocket here, obviously, for keys and transponders. And then let's see what we've got on the back here. Oh, we've got a nice strap that's uh, elastic to hang on to the device. Looks like you have got a light and a rear facing camera. On the top, we've got a few connectors here. Looks like uh, DB15, I'm gonna, uh, excuse me, DB25, I'm gonna assume for the OBD cable. Looks like an um, IR port for Mercedes keys. Then we have DB15. I'm going to guess that's for EEPROM reading and writing. And then looks like we have a DIN connector here. Uh, I'm going to guess that's for remote unlocking and also uh, remote creation, their universal keys. And then looks like we have USB-C. I would assume that's for charging and connecting this to a PC. And then over here, you see, we've got the uh, power button. So we're going to take him away for just a minute. I'm going to show you some of the other things that are inside this case. You have got a plastic container here that X-Force is giving you. It's labeled for super transponder, so to hold your super chips. You have an uh, OBD2 cable, like we talked about a second ago. Looks like a uh, DB25 and OBD. There are a couple of OBD adapters. They are labeled for Honda, for Kia, and for Kia. So your remote programming adapters for Kia when you're going to program under the hood by connecting to the uh, fuse box that's under the hood. All right. And then let's see the upper portion of this case. This double door, it says accessories on it here. I'm going to open it up. It's double sided. I'm going to show you one side at a time. So on this side here, we have, looks like a Mercedes IR key sniffer. We have an adapter cable. Looks like probably for DB15 HD to standard DB15. I don't know about that for sure. Looks like a secured 912 EEPROM reading cable. Looks like another MCE reading cable. USB-C for charging and connecting to PC. Uh, this is not labeled, but this looks a lot like a W164 fast gateway adapter for password calculations to speed up on the bench password calculation. We've got the transformer, X-Force, USB-C for charging. So this is the uh, remote, universal remote programming cable. 
and then it looks like we have some sort of maybe power injector cable. I'm not sure about that one. And then over here on the other side of this kit, we have some additional EEPROM reading boards here. Let's see. Tough to get out of the bags. One up here looks like it has some sort of clip. And this also looks like it's going to be for SOIC 8 reading. Okay, so that's the adapters and the cables that come with the device. So let's see if we can power this guy up and see what it looks like. I don't know the status of the battery charge. Like I said, I just received this in. And you guys just watched me open it for the first time, so you're seeing it the first time as I am. So I'm going to press and hold this power button, see if we can get it to power up here. All right. So it looks like the first thing we're going to do is choose language. So we're going to choose English, United States. It looks like that'll set the key tool in the proper language. It looks like we have a disclaimer here about we need to use this device properly, which we understand. We're going to agree and enter. Um, a little thank you for buying the key tool plus. And uh, let's see, tells you you need to activate and bind the device before you can use it the first time. All right, so it looks like at this point, you would need to connect it to Wi-Fi and uh, get it bound and registered. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get that done, and then we'll make some subsequent videos that show some more uses of the tool. Uh, but right now, we just wanted to show you the actual unboxing of the device. I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and appreciate you watching. Thank you for watching another video brought to you by International Key Supply.